In February earlier this year, a homeless man named Billy Ray Harris was panhandling on the streets of Missouri when a, when a woman accidentally dropped her diamond engagement ring into his change cup. Now, you think he might sell the ring. He was homeless after all, but he didn't. In fact, he held on to it. And three days later, when she returned looking for it, he gave it back to her. This greatly inspired a community of over 83,000 people to start a fund for Billy Gray, donating close to 200 grand to help, help get him off the streets. Today, Billy put a down payment on a home. He's starting uh, his own painting business. And probably most importantly of all, he was reunited with his estranged family of 16 years. Billy Ray Harris was famously quoted as saying, I feel human now. This true story represents a lesson that took me over 10 years to learn, and a lesson that most people never learn. And the lesson is this, that we erroneously believe that giving and philanthropy are the endeavors of the wealthy and the successful and the abundant. You might think that's true because they have the resources, right? But that's backwards. It's that giving first, without expectation of reward, leads to abundance, like it did with Billy Ray. My lesson in this, in this area began about 11 years ago. I was an entrepreneur. I had just come off a failed startup. I was broke, and I needed a job. But I came across a really interesting company that helped entrepreneurs like me succeed. Wow, I thought, this is great. It's right up my alley. So eagerly, I applied for a job there. However, I was grossly underqualified, so I wasn't all that surprised when I got a rejection letter. But as an entrepreneur, I was undaunted. I stalked the CEO, and I told her, I'm not going away. I made a proposition. I said, let me volunteer. Let me volunteer my time in exchange for being able to hang out and learn. I'll do this while I'm looking for a job. I'm not expecting you to give me a job. I just want the opportunity to learn. Well, that giving first, that volunteering for me became pivotal because after three months of being there, I was offered a full-time job. That job thrust me into an amazing community of brilliant entrepreneurs, venture capitalists, and angel investors. It took me from isolation and desolation into an amazing community of people. When I was there, I found my groove. I was quickly promoted and ended up with a key role in that company. And it is there that I met a person that would be pivotal in the next section of my life, a man by the name of David Cohen. So David Cohen was a local entrepreneur that was doing some really, really interesting things. And when he told me about a project he was working on, I eagerly jumped at the chance to get involved. Once again, I volunteered my time to try to help him out. Well, that second time of volunteering also turned out really well for me, because David later offered me a, a position, a full-time position, in his next company called Techstars. So Techstars is where I work today, and the genius of Techstars is that they also help entrepreneurs get, su get successful, but they do so with the help of mentors. So mentors are CEOs, experienced CEOs, experienced executives, investors, and community leaders that donate their time without expectation of reward or compensation to help these early startups grow and get to the next level. Now, these just aren't ordinary people. These are highly successful, highly busy people, like the CEO of Twitter, that are giving freely of their time without expectation of reward to for-profit companies. This has been absolutely tremendous. So with, with these people donating this time, it's been, it's been a, built an entire community of givers. And what the, one of the very first things that we noticed was all these mentors giving, that giving was contagious. As mentors gave freely, more super successful people volunteered, raised their hands wanting to become mentors too. Uh, investors started giving freely of their time. Lawyers and accountants started helping out for free. Mentors helping startups turned into mentors helping other mentors. Turn, turned into startups helping mentors. Turned into startups helping startups. People were falling all over their, each other trying to help one another. It was beautiful. And, but, what happened was we got, so much in, we got so many requests for help, we actually had to turn people away. We couldn't handle it all. Then the successes started rolling in. One thing that we noticed was mentorship totally changed the equation for startups. The national average is that 95% of startups, succeed, startups fail, but with companies that got mentorship through us, 90% of them succeeded. 
Wow, this is amazing. It was taking entrepreneurs who were previously so broke they were sleeping on sofas and eating ramen noodles, and it turned them into millionaires as their companies were bought. And the mentors were, and all, that all created much opportunity, and the mentors were in the center of that opportunity. So these people that were gay first now became on the receiving end of wonderful chances. Things like being invited to be a, a CEO of a company. There were deals being closed. There were sales being made. There were jobs being created. There were speaking engagements. There was press releases. There were, there were so many opportunities to go around, and everybody was sharing in that. So the cool thing was that pretty soon the word got out and other communities around the world started reaching out to us. They wanted to replicate this Give First mentorship model in their own community. Well, I've been with Techstars for five years now, and I've seen firsthand the impact that Give First can has, on a, has on a community. And it's taught me a very, it's, it, it was revelational to me, because what I learned was is that giving first, without expectation of reward or compensation, results in abundance. Abundance isn't the cause of giving, it's the result. So now we're in this amazing community of giving, and it's why I'm here today, it's why I want to talk to you, right? Because when we give first, giving first is like a butterfly effect. When a butterfly flaps its wings in China, I don't know if you guys know the butterfly effect, but it says that when a butterfly flaps its wings in China, it will cause a hurricane somewhere else. Giving first creates tidal waves of support what happens is, is when you support somebody, when you give first without expectation of reward or compensation, you surprise them, you delight them, you inspire them, you create gratitude, you create a person that wants to help you, you create a person that wants to help others. And those feelings, those feelings are contagious because when you create abundance of opportunity for one person, you create abundance of opportunity for everybody around you. And when you help somebody without expe expectation of reward or compensation, it creates those tidal waves of giving, actually creates ripples of giving. And those ripples travel for hundreds of miles in all directions. And those ripples will eventually turn into tidal waves that will come back to you and lift you up and carry you forward. So some people, they call this karma. Some people, they call it the law of abundance or the law of giving. For me, I called it cosmic mumbo jumbo until I saw the effect of it firsthand. And it was then that I realized that I had been doing it all wrong. I was taking first. I wasn't giving first. That's why my startups failed. So now, today, instead of seeking financial independence and seeking wealth, I seek daily contribution. For every person I meet, every meeting I take, I actually try to give them something in a way that I can help. Sometimes it's advice, sometimes it's guidance. When I can, I make introductions. I try to take down barriers for people. Sometimes all, the only thing I can do to help is give them a kind smile or a sympathetic shoulder. But the effect of this has had on my life has been absolutely tremendous. My career has completely skyrocketed from, from a punk, broke, 20-something, know-it-all, failed entrepreneur to a woman that has ra been rated by magazines as one of the top women in tech. The relationship with my husband has improved. The relationship with my friends is richer the relationship with myself. I'm happier, I'm healthier, I have more self-esteem. There's no part of my life that has gone untouched by giving. And I want you all to do the same. I think everybody can understand that we're all, we're all erroneously misbelieved that, by, that giving is the endeavor of the wealthy and the successful, but that's wrong. Giving first, without expectation of reward, leads to wealth and abundance, right? So when we create that abundance for others, when we, when we help, when we don't ask, when we stop asking what's in it for me, when we support one another, when we help others win, we win because we win their love, we win their support, we win the support of others. And when it comes our turn, those people will be standing there waiting for us, ready to push us ever higher because a rising tide does raise all ships. So give first, that's an idea worth spreading. Now in the spirit of give first, I have a little present for you. So you guys should have all gotten an envelope. You can go ahead and open your envelope. I read yesterday that the New York lottery was at 290 something million dollars. 
So you all have a lottery ticket. <laughs> I hope that one of you wins. Thank you.